In this short note, we'll uh, prove the result that the trace log of a matrix is equal to the log determinant of a matrix provided the matrix is non-singular. The way this proof proceeds is that uh, we write the determinant of e to the power b, which is equal to determinant of e to the power b by n raised to the power n, and we take the limit n to infinity. Now, since uh, n is tending to infinity, uh, this uh, argument of the exponential is very small, and we can write e to the power uh, b by n as 1 plus b by n. So we have determinant of 1 plus b by n raised to the power n. This is because uh, b by n is much, much less than 1. Now, from this step, to this step, what we do is we have to use something like uh, the expression that determinant of a plus h times b for a small h is given by determinant of a plus h times trace of a joint of a times b and order h squared terms. So if h is tending to zero, then we can drop this term and we have this term here. Now note that in this case, a is just one, so we have determinant one, and then we have h equal to one by n, so we have one by n, and then we have trace of adjoint of a is one, so trace of b. So we see that determinant of one plus b by n is equal to one plus one by n trace b, and that is what we put here, and we get this term. Now, moving from this term to this term, we just need to use the fact uh, that uh, this is equal to exponential of trace b because this term is very small and you can do something like a binomial expansion and then you can show that this is what we have. So now we take log on both sides. So we get log of determinant of e to the power b and log of this thing is just trace of b and then that gives us the result that log of det a is equal to trace of log a. Uh, going from this step to the step is trivial. We just put e to the power b equals a. Right. So this was the proof of trace log of a matrix is log dead of that matrix. Thank you.